I want to welcome uh, President Pineda and his delegation to the Oval Office. Uh, it gives me an opportunity to return the uh, extraordinary hospitality that they showed uh, during my visit to Santiago uh, and uh, the wonderful uh, warmth that the Chilean people uh, extended to me and my delegation during my visit. Uh, you know, obviously we've got uh, strong relationships uh, throughout the hemisphere, but uh, the relationship between the United States and Chile uh, is as strong uh, and as important uh, as any of the relationships that we have. Uh, Chile has been on a remarkable uh, growth trajectory uh, over several decades, uh, and uh, the progress that it's made in terms of uh, strengthening its economy, uh, pulling people out of poverty, uh, establishing a, a strong uh, uh, manufacturing and industrial and service base. Uh, its strong exports sector uh, are all uh, proof of the talents of the Chilean people, but also uh, Chile's embrace of democracy uh, and human rights uh, and a market economy. And as a consequence, uh, Chile has become uh, not only a leader in the hemisphere, but also a leader in the world. Uh, President Piñera's uh, outstanding leadership uh, has uh, continued and enhanced this process, and uh, he and I have had uh, an excellent relationship in a number of multilateral settings. Um, uh, today we had uh, a wide-ranging discussion. Uh, some uh, of the topics were very specific. For example, uh, the process whereby we anticipate uh, Chile being able to achieve uh, 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 membership in the uh, visa waiver uh, program that will facilitate uh, the freer flow of, of people uh, between our two countries. Uh, and I know was one of uh, President Piñera's uh, highest priorities. Uh, we discussed uh, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, uh, a high standard, high level trade agreement with uh, the countries of the Asia Pacific region, which is the most dynamic uh, and fastest growing region of the world. A and Chile has been uh, an excellent partner with us in trying to bring this multilateral uh, trade agreement uh, to a close. Uh, I congratulated uh, President Piñera on the work that Chile is doing in the Pacific Partnership, uh, in which Chile, uh, uh, Colombia, uh, Mexico, uh, and uh, uh, Peru uh, are joining together to uh, create uh, not only e economic integration, uh, but also uh, educational and scientific exchanges that will not only enhance uh, each member country, but also uh, are pointing the way for uh, a model of economic development and growth uh, throughout the region that uh, I think a lot of people are paying attention to. Uh, and uh, we also discussed uh, the ways in which uh, the United States and Chile can continue to strengthen uh, its people-to-people -people exchanges and uh, continue to deepen uh, our cooperation on areas like energy uh, that are so important to the continued prosperity of our people. So uh, overall, uh, I think that the relationship between the United States and Chile uh, is extraordinarily strong. Uh, I want to thank uh, President Piñera for his friendship uh, and his leadership. Uh, I'm confident that uh, uh, during uh, the remaining year in which he's in office, uh, he's going to accomplish even more for the Chilean people uh, and continue to uh, project Chile on the world stage uh, as a very positive uh, force uh, for, uh, for good. And uh, I hope that he, he's found this visit here to the United States useful. Uh, I look forward to an opportunity at some point to uh, returning to Chile, uh, uh, one of my favorite uh, visits uh, during the course of my travels. Uh, and uh, I look forward to uh, a lot of good work uh, in the years ahead. So thank you very much, Mr. President. Well, thank you very much, President Obama. You know that you are always welcome in Chile. Your visit was a a very important one, not only for Chile, but for the whole hemisphere. We have uh, confirmed once again that the United States and Chile, we share the same values. Our commitment with democracy, human rights, rule of law, our market-oriented economy, our commitment with world peace. And therefore, we will keep collaborating with the US in strengthening and promoting this value all over the world. 
Of course, we discussed many different aspects. One of them was the Trans-Pacific Partnership. And uh, Chile is fully committed, not only with achieving an agreement and create the largest free trade zone in the world, which will be the case if the Trans-Pacific Partnership is approved, but also we want to approve it uh, within the time framework that we have set. So we hope that in the near future we will be able to make the progress necessary to get that Trans-Pacific Partnership deal done. On the other hand, we have a free trade agreement with the US, it was signed in 2004. Since then, we have more than tripled our trade with the US. The US has a very significant surplus in its trade with Chile, and we are very happy with that. But it's not only trade. We are interested in many other things. That's why this conversation has been extremely helpful, because we have discussed other issues like economy, the education, uh, clean renewable energies, uh, science, technology, in all those areas, we have a lot to learn from the US, and uh, we have a lot to collaborate with the US. We are very happy that we have signed special agreements with two states, the California, Cali with, with California and with uh, Massachusetts. And therefore, I would like to emphasize President Obama that we are following what you're doing in the US, of course, has been a difficult task because the world is going through difficult times. But we are very optimistic that the, the, the US economy is picking up, is growing, is creating jobs, and that's good for the US people, but also for the whole world. In, a little bit in Spanish. Bueno, hemos tenido una reunión de trabajo con el presidente Obama. Por supuesto que hemos confirmado una vez más que Estados Unidos y Chile compartimos los mismos valores. El valor de la democracia, del Estado de Derecho, del respeto a los derechos humanos, de la integración con el mundo, del libre comercio y también de nuestro compromiso con la paz. Adicionalmente, es importante destacar que el tratado de libre comercio que tenemos entre Estados Unidos y Chile ha sido extraordinariamente exitoso. Hemos logrado más que triplicar nuestro comercio con Estados Unidos y vamos a multiplicarlo nuevamente en el futuro. Pero estamos entrando en una nueva etapa. Por eso los acuerdos que hemos llegado con el presidente Obama y con el Estado de California y de Massachusetts en materia de ciencia, tecnología, educación superior, universidades, energías limpias, son muy importantes para Chile. Y finalmente tenemos este fuerte compromiso con lograr que el Trans-Pacific Partnership se transforme en una realidad en un futuro muy cercano. El Trans-Pacific Partnership, que incluye países en ambos lados del Océano Pacífico, se va a transformar en la zona de libre comercio más grande del mundo. Y por tanto estamos trabajando junto a Estados Unidos en lograr acuerdos que nos permitan mejorar la calidad de vida, las oportunidades del de pueblo americano y también del pueblo chileno. Good. Thank you very much.